Penny Morden's campaign is in trouble as more former bosses come out to question her competence and leadership. All right, seems like this whole plan to undermine each candidate continues. Uh, we had uh, yesterday uh, um, Lord Frost coming out uh, to say, because he was uh, Penny Morden's boss for a bit uh, in one of the departments in government, and uh, he said that, well, he had to go to the Prime Minister and uh, ask him to move Penny because she was not really present, she, wasn't, she was a bit lazy, she was not really competent. And now we have another one, as people say, <laughs> Lord Moylan, who's come out to say that um, years ago he actually hired her, she used to work for him, and this was his judgment. Firstly, he was talking about uh, on GB News that Rishi Sunak is going to be, well, one of the top two. And seems like if Penny uh, becomes the second candidate, she, she could easily beat Rishi. And that's worrying. Rishi Sunak, however popular he is with the MPs, in my view, from my contacts, he's deeply unpopular with the members of the party. Mm. So if he's in the final two, there's a very good chance that whoever the other person is will win. At the moment, it's looking like that person could be, could be Penny Mordaunt. But and this is his judgment on Penny Mordaunt. He's going to tell the story of when he hired her and then had to sack her. You know, from my own experience, when I was um, a de deputy council leader, uh, we hired her to be the director of comms. Admittedly, this is 20 years ago. Um, and we had to get rid of her after a few months because she was incompetent. Uh, right. I mean, it happens. And we've all been fired from job, right? Um, the problem is when you have multiple people coming out to keep talking about a lack of track record, if someone that he wants to, she wants to actually be leading a whole country, it's a bit, it's a prop, well, a bit problematic, but also especially because these people are already in politics. The, but the, the, not Lord Sugar shouting, but she didn't stay. And she didn't stay because she couldn't do the job. Now, you could say that's 20 years ago. Maybe she's changed, she's grown up, she's learned. But then you've got Lord Frost today saying she's no better today. And I'm seriously worried that if Rishi and Penny Mordaunt are in the final two, she might win. Well, that's, that's slightly worrying. If you, if you have your former boss coming out um, to the boss and the letter of recommendation saying, well, the whole country should be very concerned. It's not looking good because Penny Mordaunt's uh, platform and branding is based on good management and leadership and strong and stable and look at me I can I wear all these navy suits and it's brilliant at every department and I get it you know these people have been in politics for a long time of course you're going to do you're going to get some things right you're going to get some some stuff wrong um, and it doesn't really mean that for example Richard Sinek is a competent one he's got problems as well as you guys know Liz Truss is also let's just say not a perfect candidate uh, Kemi, Bo and, and Kemi Badenov as well of course, we have to kind of see more of her, and that's the problem. That's the only weakness. We need to see more of Kemi Badenov, and hopefully, uh, this weekend and uh, the last next few days, the TV debates will help with that. Today, actually, at 7 p.m., we have the first debate, Channel 4, uh, the first leaders' debate. So we're going to actually do a live stream, and I'll uh, react to that as well for you guys. So subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC, and we are the media.